Shalom one Israel, Shalom one, Shalom one. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Amen. This is gonna be. I ain't gonna know. This is gonna be a short video through the Spirit, Lord willing. I ain't gonna even. I, I'm gonna start saying that because you know I can say it could be a short video, but hey, the the, uh, the Spirit can have me go long through this thing. You know, but I don't plan on it to be a short video. But you know, I was in my own sociology class. You know, taking sociology right, and then the teacher, you know, you know, um, she kind of brought up like some um, some mental disorders, some mental illnesses, right? And then she was going to tell, like how people need to get medication. You know, if they have these um, mental illnesses, right? You know, what I'm saying like anxiety, like eating orders, post traumatic stress, schizophrenia, uh, bipolar disorder. You know, all these personality disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder mood disorder like mood swings bipolar all that you got you uh damn bipolar uh you damn um uh bipolar you got that depression you always stressed out you got um adhd you know they go, if you go to the doctor for that they gonna give you medicine and that was that what my teacher was talking about you know she was talking about like how you know they, people need medicine for these disorders right but in reality you know you don't you don't really need medicine because you know medicine first and foremost you know if you go to the doctor they of course they're gonna give you medicine that's what they're gonna do they're trying to make money off you they're not gonna tell you that you have that these are demons that these just are evil spirits on you they're not gonna tell you that they're gonna tell you that um the medicine is gonna uh and they're gonna say it's gonna heal you but at the same time the medicine don't heal you you have to keep getting more you run out of medicine you have to go back and get more it's, it's only to tame you Feel what I'm saying? It's not to help you. It's not. It's not to heal you. You know what I'm saying? Forever, for a long time. And also, uh, pills and stuff is made out of. They make it out of witchcraft, man. They make that stuff out of witchcraft. Think about. It. They're making pills that can heal you. What so called heal you? They are making pills that can so called help you. How they making this stuff? What they making it out of? It's out of witchcraft. You feel what I'm saying? And these are just demons. When people are stressed out. People have anxiety. When people have uh, eating disorder, I mean, uh, ADHD. They mood swings. They mood. They always. They happy. Then they mad. Then they want to fight you. Then they want to hug you. Those are demons on people, bro. But Esau just gave them fancy names. He gave them <clears throat> scientific names. Now, now you got mood swings. You know what I'm saying? Now you got anxiety. It's like he naming the demons. He naming the demons that are on people. These are everything is spiritual, bro. Everything is spiritual. You can't look at stuff on the physical level. Everything that we go through is spiritual. You feel what I'm saying? Everything is spiritual, right? And even you had Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ. He was out here healing people. Was he giving people medicine? Was he giving people medicine when he was healing people? No, he was using Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, he was, he was using, he was, um, you had people having to fast, people had to pray. To get these demons off of them, bro. Because we knew back then that those were demons. We didn't have no fancy names. We wasn't calling them anxiety. We were just calling them demons. You stressed out. You know, you got a demon on you. You kind of, you kind of, you kind of mood swinging. You kind of happy. Kind of sad. We wasn't calling that bipolar. We just calling it a demon. Because it was a demon. And a lot of people, when you read the, uh, especially the New Testament, when Yahweh Shah was healing people, you know, they had these same similarities. You had people that couldn't hear. They give you medicine if you can't hear. They give you medicine if you can't speak. When you can't see, they try to give you medicine for every little thing, bro. They try to put you under medication for every little thing. But in reality, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not, uh, it, you don't need to be taking medicine. All you need to do is pray and fast, man. That's all you need to do. Prayer and fast will heal you. You get into the Bible and you pray and you fast. That's your medicine right there. You don't actually need no physical medicine. And you also, you know, I'm going to say this too. You know, you have some kids that you know, they say they ADHD. They always running around. Our people be quick to take them to the uh, to the doctor. But no, they just need a whooping. Some kids just need to be whooped. Some kids are just bad. But the doctor not going to say that. They gonna, Of course, they're going to give them a disorder so they can give them some medicine and all that. But you got to know, bro, if you ain't whooping your child and he all running around, bro, he just bad. Bro, whoop your child, bro. There's nothing wrong with whooping your child. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes your child need to be whooped in situations. You know what I'm saying? So it all can be handled without you taking medicine. Everything don't need to, everything don't need to evolve around medicine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because that stuff is not to heal you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you the medicine say uh beware. You got caution and you got some you got some uh, effects that can happen to you if you take this. You know what I'm saying? That's that's folly. It's like you risking your life, man. That's folly and madness. You feel what I'm saying? But all these are just demons. Nothing to show you that. You know what I'm saying? Like these these are just evil spirits on people, man, causing them. To act the way they act. Doja is just spirits, man.
It just, it just evil spirits. And there ain't nothing new under the sun, right? It's Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 through 44. I mean, it's through 45. And like I said before, it's nothing new. You always had demons hopping on people. Satan tried to try you. How was shy? That way he had to fast what he did. When Satan was trying him, what he did, he fasted. He was praying 40 days and 40 nights. You feel what I'm saying? That's how you're going to get these demons off you, bro. These evil spirits, they're going to come and nag you. They're going to come and nag you, bro. But those, we got to understand those are spirits. You know I mean? It ain't no disorder that Esau gave him, gave him these fancy names. Those are just demons on you, bro. Everything is spiritual. Remember that everything, everything is spiritual. Everything from it raining, from you getting in your car, from you waking up, brushing your teeth, from you talking to somebody that is spiritual, bro. You know, so this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 through 45. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, this is what I want. When the unclean spirit, and the unclean spirit is when you know depressed, stressed out, anxiety, even what, like I said before, when people can't see, when people can't hear, those are demons. Those are just demons. If you pray and fast and get into the word, the most high can, the most high will uh, allow you to see again. You don't need no medicine for that, man. You don't need to go to the doctor for that, bro. Just pray and fast. But our people want to try to take the simple way out. They just want to take some medicine. You know what I'm saying? Cause they don't want to put that work in. They don't want to fast. They don't want to pray. Oh, I don't want to fast. My stomach gonna start hurting, man. I need to eat. I can't go that long without eating, man. I can't do it. So they'd rather take medicine. But understand though, those are just spirits, man. Those everything, you know what I'm saying? If you everything that's going against the Bible is a I'm gonna say it like this. Everything that's going against the Bible is a is is a, is an evil spirit. Everything that's causing you to be upset and get you out the spirit, bro, it's a demon. That's what their job. Their job is to get you out the spirit, bro. Their job is to think. Their job is to um, uh, manipulate manipulate you into thinking, okay, um, there's nothing wrong with me. I just got a disorder. You know, it's, it's just a disorder. I can take some medicine. You know what I'm saying? I need to go to the doctor and get some medicine. No, no, those are demons on you. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real. Those are demons on you, bro, and they, you need to fast and pray to get those demons off you. That's the only way they're going to come off you. Medicine is not going to help you. That's why people be on medicine for so long, still taking medication. They still got to keep refilling their uh, they tube up and go get some more pills. It's temporary. But that fasting and praying, can, it will indeed help you spiritually because everything is spiritual. So that, that fasting and praying going to help you on a spiritual level. You know what I'm saying? So this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 through 45. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeketh rest, and findeth none. So a person that, just say that unclean spirit got off that person. He done fasted. He done prayed. You know, he done, you know, he done, he, uh, he did it on a daily basis. Now that spirit like, dang, I can't dwell inside him no more. He too, you know, he kind of, he kind of getting too, he, he kind of too strong for me now. You know, he fasting, he praying. I can't dwell inside him no more. So the demon, he walked through and dry the places now. That's why, you know, you have, that's why we say like, watch the people that you hang around because demons can jump on you from other people. You can, no wonder why you, you, you hang with a person. Before you wasn't, before you started hanging with that person, you wasn't upset. You was, you was always in a chill spirit. Now when you start hanging around somebody, now all of a sudden you get mad all, all of a sudden. Now you depressed. Now you got anxiety. Like, damn, where did this come from? Because that person that had that demon on them hopped on you. You know what I'm saying? Because demons love to dwell in, in, uh, in uh, your body. They love dwelling inside people, man. They love dwelling in people, bro. So once you fast and pray that demon, he get out of you. He's like, damn, where, where I'm finna go at now? You know, he, he, he right, you know, he praying, he fasting. I can't dwell inside him no more. He too strong for me, man. He's light on now. So now he come out. Now he really be out trying to find somebody else he can dwell in. Find a temple, find a temple that he can um, live in, right? It says, when the unclean spirit is going out of a man, he walking through job places, seeking rest and finding none. He can't find, he's like, damn, I can't, I can't find no rest, right? It says, then he said, I will return it. Then he says, I will return it to my house. From which I came out. So now he's finna try to. That why brothers and sisters are always getting tried in his truth. Because Satan always wanna dwell back inside you. He always gonna come back and try you and see, like, okay, you know, nah, let's see if he's still fast. Let's see if I can dwell inside him now. You feel what I'm saying? And Satan always gonna try to, he always gonna try to dwell and go back into that same uh uh that same um body that he was in, right? 
It says, Then he said, I will return to my house from which I came out. And when he has come, he finds it empty, swept and garnished. So now he finds it empty. Now he finds it empty. He's like, okay, he ain't fasting no more. He ain't praying no more. That was only that was only for that was only for a little bit, man. Now I'm finna go back inside him. He wasn't for real. He wasn't for real. Now he says, Then goeth he and taketh him himself seven other spirits. More wicked than himself. So now he getting more spirits. So now he getting that anxiety spirit. Now he getting that uh that uh uh personality disorder spirit. Now he getting that angry spirit. Now he getting that depressed spirit. Now he getting that uh uh that that overeating spirit. They all those spirits. Now he getting that uh uh less that less spirit, that less demon. Now he getting all them those demons. Now they finna dwell inside your body. So that's why you have a lot of people um bugged out. They got and people try to say they got these orders. Or oh, is there something wrong with him? Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with her. She needs some medicine. She need to go to the doctor. No, he 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 been cutting himself. Those are demons. You gotta think about it. What what in the world you think it is that'll make you cut yourself? You gotta know that's demons, bruh. You cutting yourself, you punching walls. You don't need no medicine for that no medicine for that. Those are demons, bruh. You need to fast and pray and get those evil spirits off you. Cause if you don't, they're gonna continue to dwell in you and grow. He said, then, then goeth he and taketh, he, taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. So they dwell inside your temple, man. They dwelling inside your temple. Literally, demons are dwelling inside your temple. You ain't, you ain't fasting. You ain't praying. You have demons literally dwelling inside your temple. And it says, um, in the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. So now, now, now you feeling your, now you seeing yourself being worse than you was before because you know you allowed them demons to come in there. You wasn't serious. You wasn't sincere in this thing. So more demons came into your your uh, your body. So now you tripping. You know, you know what I'm saying? Now you now you like damn. Now you got them going to the doctor. They give you all three or four different medications. Now you doing the medications. Now you kind of stressed out, still depressed. The medicine ain't doing nothing. Now you like damn. What's going on? The medicine ain't doing nothing because it's not supposed to help you forever. It's supposed to just make you. It's supposed to just tame you for that moment. It's only supposed to help you for that little bit. Of, you gotta understand that the the, uh, the uh, doctors, the nurses, the whole hospital. That's a bro. That's the whole business, bro. That's a whole business. So they're not gonna tell you the truth. They're not, they're not gonna tell you that you don't need medicine. All you need to do is pray and fast because they're not gonna make no money if they tell you the truth. So they're gonna have to continue to you know, lie to you and say it's these orders and stuff and medicine's gonna help you, but in reality, it's not gonna help you at all, bro. It's not gonna help you, right? So now you go to um And Yahweh Shah, like I said, Yahweh Shah was out here healing people with these same so these, these same disorders that we going through in this gener and it's in today's time. But they just wasn't called these names that they call now. They were just called evil spirits and demons like they were, right? And it says, and when he and he so like and it says and when he was come to the other side into the country of the uh so like if i said this wrong J J G G G G gorsons it's so like if I, I think i said that wrong kind of butchered it so like you there met him two possessed with demons so you had people two 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 people possessed with demons right you know what i'm saying nothing new coming out of tombs exceeding fierce so that no man might pass that way pass by that way and behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Yahweh Shah, thou son of uh, God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? So you had the demons speaking through those men. They, they were fierce men. They probably were throwing stuff. They probably were cutting each other. You actually had, I can't remember what verse, but you actually had people in the Bible, somebody in the Bible that was actually cutting themselves. Those are demons, bro. Those are demons. You have people actually doing this type of stuff, man. Imagine the stuff that's not what that's not written down. What people was doing? They do they were the same stuff, man. Eating, they were overeating, all type of stuff. Uh, bipolar, you know what I'm saying? All this type of stuff. A lot of people had demons. Yahweh I had to heal a lot of people, bro, from these disorders that we talking about. From them being blind, from them being they can't hear, from them being they can't see. You know what I'm saying? They can't walk. They paralyzed. Those are demons. You paralyzed. Those, those are demons on you, bro. He can make you walk again. He got those demons. Man, Yahweh Shah is casting demons out of everybody, bro, of his people. You know what I'm saying? 
So it said, the, this, these are the demons that are speaking through the men. They're like, what have we do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thy son of Yahweh? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good and there was a good way off from them as Salakia. And there was a good way off from them as herd of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. So they know they're finna get casted out. They're like, damn, we can't do it in this, this man no more. So this is why we say you're not supposed to eat pork, bro. Pig, the pig is the nastiest animal. These demons wanted to be cast inside a pig. So just think about it. You have evil spirits. They want to get casted into a pig, bro. And, that, and people eat pigs. Our people love eating swine. And the demon want to happily be cast into that swine's flesh, right? And it says, um... So that so so the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they were into the herds of swine, and they behold the and behold the whole herd of swine ran violently violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the water. So the most high cast those evil spirits into the swine because the swine is useless. He useless. He not gonna cast those evil spirits into his his people. He said, let me cast these evil spirits into this swine because the swine is useful. I mean, useless. It's like you're useless. The swine is useless. Nobody not going to... The swine is made to clean the earth up, man. They nasty animals. They useless. So he cast the, the evil spirits into the um the swine. And then, you know, the swine giant themselves, right? So that just to show that just goes to show you, you know what I'm saying, that that when you have people... And, 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 and what Ecclesiastes say is nothing new under the sun. People had demons on them then. They have they have demons on them now. But America try to make everything about a disorder. Like I keep I gotta keep saying that because if if Yahweh Shah was healing people and, and and people had demons on them back then, then how do you know what do you say to a person that got demons on them? Like how do you know when the person acting up, how do you know is his demons on them? Like why when do you say it's demons? What point do it get to a person when a person is doing something crazy for you to say it's demons on them? Because we know that if de if it's demons if people had demons on them back then, they got demons on them now. So when a person doing something crazy, when do you say it's demons on them? Because people don't like to say, people don't like to say, especially a lot of people, they don't like to say when people got demons on them. They just like to say, oh, bro, he tripping. Bro, it's something wrong with him. He got a disorder, bro. He need to get some medicine. But no. Even the little, even the stuff that you think might be little to you, when the person just mad, when the person mad, you know, when the person, uh, cause people take medicine for anger issues, they take pills for uh, for anger issues. So when you see stuff like that, people don't people don't look at people having anger issues as a uh, as a demon. They look at it like, oh, if he got real real anger issues, he throwing stuff, he punching walls. They don't look at that as him having demons. They look at that as him, you know, what I'm saying, just showing his his anger at that moment or him. Uh, having a disorder When a person cutting themselves, They don't really look at that as having a demon They look at him as having a disorder So they get pills They get them, they get them checked out by a doctor You feel what I'm saying But in reality those are, just, those are just evil spirits And just evil demons Causing you to do the stuff that you do man Like I said before If you ain't If you if you doing stuff right and, it, and it's going against the bible And the bible say like you can't You can't down Commit adultery You can't um you can't let your anger go down during the wrath. I mean, you can't let your son go down on your anger. You know, you can't uh, cut your flesh. You know, you can't have an evil eye towards your brother. You kind of got, you kind of love your brother at one moment, then the same, then the next day you hate him. You love him two minutes, uh, two minutes before, then all of a sudden you start hating your brother. Those are demons. You feel what I'm saying? And those are things that medicine can't heal. It's a, it's a spiritual thing, and the only thing that's gonna heal that is prayer and fasting. You know, so um, let me get this number close out. These to show you that, hey man, these uh, you have you you have spirits out here on the left hand side, you have spirits on the right hand side. Now the right hand side is the righteous spirits, the spirits that's going, you know, the, you know, the spirits that's going um, that's going to allow you to go on the right path. You know what I'm saying? They're going to keep you on your on, on the right trust, keep you in the, in the spirit, right? But you have those demons on the left-hand side that was that's created to make you, to try you, to try to make you go off. It's going to try to get you out the spirit, right? This is our rack, chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. So you have spirits out here that's created for vengeance. Like spirits, literally spirits out here, like when people get shot in the head, 
when people kill themselves, when people them overdose off pills, you gotta understand that was a demon. There was a demon that caused them to do that because they created for vengeance. You have demons that actually created out this thing for vengeance, man. It said there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore, on sore strokes. In the times of destruction, they pour out their force. So in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. So you see all these floods going on. You see them, all these uh, all these people dying, bro. When then somebody gets shot in the head, that's judgment. Those are the evil spirits. That, those are, that's the death angels, man. You really have death angels out here, man. When people damn get hit by cars, bro, that's a death angel, bro. You get hit by a damn train, that's a death angel. And it says, in the, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. So in the time of destruction, they gonna be, they gonna tear, they gonna tear shit up. They take orders from the Most High, man. The Most High say, "Hey, go do your thing, hey man. Hey, the Most High say, hey, hey, go kill him. Cause you know the Most High uh kill people according to First Samuel two and six. I'ma pull it." And when the Most High say, hey, man, go kill him. It's time. He wicked as hell. He don't listen to me. Hey, go kill him. Hey, that's what the angel on the left-hand side for. The angel of vengeance. He gonna go and kill your ass, bro. Facts. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that... The wrath of him that... That made them. Right? It's the book of 1 Samuel chapter... Ah, look at that. That's Satan. That's Satan. This is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh the lie. So the Lord killeth, man. The Bible said the Lord killed, bro. So it shouldn't surprise you that, you know what I'm saying, them death angels is coming from him, bro. When people out here dying, you act like you act like the most I don't know when people out here dying. Like, he, he kind of closed his eyes. He's like, what? So-and-so just died? No, he over all that, man. Say the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Most High is in control of everything, bro. Little and big situations, he in control of everything. You know what I'm saying? So when people got a disorder, you know what I'm saying, they going through it. And the Most High put that spirit on that, that person to go through that disorder, so-called disorder. When they stressed out, when they depressed, they got anxiety, they damn got ADHD, the Most High told the evil spirit to get down on that person. Now that person catching hell. They kind of bugged out in the mind, man. Those are demons on people, bro. Stop looking at stuff on a physical level all the time. That's a spiritual level, bro. That's, those are demons on people, bro, causing them to go off, causing them to get bugged out through the spirit. You feel what I'm saying? So this is my video that I wanted to uh, get, get into. Just going into that, you know. So, brothers and sisters, if you got any of those disorders that I just showed y'all, or even more, you blind, you might can't see, can't hear, you can't walk. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, just pray and fast because those are just evil spirits and, you know what I'm saying, that's causing... Those are evil spirits which are demons on you that's causing you to uh, feel the way you feel and what you go through. So when you fast and pray and uh, come back to the Most High, hey, man, you ain't going to need no medicine. You're going to be like, what the hell? I don't need no medicine no more because everything is spiritual. So you need to fast and pray, you know what I'm saying, and get those demons off you, right? So this but the King, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, I say Shalom.